Hey, hi, Sharon Smith here. In this video today, we're going to do some EFT tapping to help you let go of sleep apnea, that holding your breath thing when you sleep. Now, a lot of you also have snoring. I have a whole nother video for that. You're going to want to do both of these because they do kind of go together. But the patterns that are underneath them, the emotional stuff, is completely different. So do both. Now, please understand, this work is not intended as medical advice, treatment, or anything along those lines. I am not a doctor. Please do consult your licensed healthcare, healthcare professional. And before you can do any tapping with me, you have to read my disclaimer. Look down below this video. It says show more. Click that. The link's there. This is just for fun. We're going to work with some emotional stuff under there. So go do that now. Welcome back, everybody. Okay. So, when I look at the energy of sleep apnea, and several of you requested this, what I see is a need for control of situations and things that are happening. And, and it makes you really uncomfortable if you can't control things. And a lot of this is... It's kind of interesting when I look at it because what I see is that a lot of this has to do with stuff that's already happened that you already couldn't control and you're kind of replaying it uh, with the thought that, well, maybe if I just go over it and over it and over it enough times, maybe I can change it. And so it causes you to control when you sleep. Your subconscious brings that up and you're going, God, I couldn't do anything about that but I can control my breathing up to a point. I can make myself hold my breath even in my sleep. Now you can't probably kill yourself with holding your breath because you do breathe again, but sleep apnea, you know, can be a serious thing. We, you don't want to hold your breath. It's not necessary. So we're going to do some work with that. <laughs> All right, taking full responsibility for yourself and your physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. Tap. And you do have to tap where I tap and speak out loud or you're not going to feel any better. I have sleep apnea. And I'm not sure it's really any of that emotional stuff she just talked about. But I choose to be okay anyway. even though I've got sleep apnea. Really bad. I completely love and accept myself. And I honor all the reasons that I may be having this happen. Even though I'm holding my breath when I sleep, I have apnea. I'm open to shifting my perspective on why this may be happening to me. Because I do completely love and accept myself. And I love my breathing. Top of the head. I'm holding my breath when I sleep. I've been doing it a while. And I haven't really wanted to look at why. I haven't really known how to look at why. But I wonder if it's possible that maybe I've got some emotional stuff going on under there. Some stuff that makes me want to hold my breath when I sleep. I may not even be conscious of it when I'm awake. All this need for control. All this rehashing old situations. But when I close my eyes and fall asleep, 
my subconscious brings it right up. And because these things happened in the past, and I really couldn't do anything about them at the time, my subconscious thinks that replaying them might change the outcome. Maybe I have some regret about not being able to control things. But I'm open to the possibility that this need to control things is really just fear. Fear that I'm in some way not good enough. Fear that I'm not capable enough. Fear that maybe I'm not strong enough. And because I have those fears floating around in my head, it's causing me to hold my breath when I sleep. I allow myself to begin to relax and to know that all these fears are causing my subconscious to be overactive. And when I have all this mental overactivity, it's causing a physical reaction. And it's making me hold my breath. I'm open to the possibility that there are some things going on that I can't control and I couldn't in the past. But I can control what I'm thinking. By letting it go. I am human. I'm powerful. And I do have a choice in how I react. I'm allowing myself to let go of the need to control. Doing that by letting go of all these fears and worries that I have underneath there. It's safe to let them go. It's safe for me to breathe easily in and out all night long because I'm safe and I am enough and I completely love and accept myself. Peace. Okay, good job. Now we're going to do one more quick round because there's another thing in there that I want to help you clear out. Um, so we're just going to jump right into that. Just stay with me here. Thinking and feeling that I'm not enough make me really afraid because I'm just one person and sometimes I feel like what good is that but I allow myself to remember something very important here I give myself permission to remember that I'm a powerful, eternal being. For me, there is no such thing as death. And now that I'm remembering this, I 
I'm open to the possibility that I can relax. Let go of all these worries and fears. That it's safe for me to allow the breath of life to flow through me easily and effortlessly all day and all night regardless of whether I'm awake or asleep the breath of life belongs to me and I love it I love my breath and I completely love and accept myself, all of me. <sighs> Peace. Okay, great. You did really well there. Now I'm going to put the link to the snoring video below here where you click show more. Uh, along with some other cool stuff. I have a free gift. I have some other things that you may you may want. But definitely the link to the snoring video because I think you're going to need to do both. Come back and use this as often as you need. And please leave me some comments. I want to know how this is helping you. Let me know because I don't have sleep apnea. But if you are doing this, it's because you do. And I want some feedback. I like that. It helps me to get better at better better and better at what I do. And I do an ask today. I want you to please subscribe to me here. Yeah, here on YouTube, you. And I'm asking for a really good reason. YouTube's algorithm causes my work to be shown to more people who may have never seen me and never done this based on the number of subscribers that I have. That means that someone who was on YouTube looking for help that day may get it from my work because you took an extra two seconds to subscribe to me. I think that's a pretty cool reason, don't you? So go do it. And I'll see you again really soon. And remember, peace through unity for all of us. All of us.